Hi everybody and welcome to the craft tent um, hosted by The Big Skill and welcome to my stand. So um, this is all about make, do and mend um, and in particular I just wanted to show you um, a basic embroidery stitch. So um, embroidery is really dear to my heart and I feel like it's drawing with thread. So we can do something really simple. Um, this garment here I've used machine embroidery, but what we've got is some very, very simple little bits of stitching here, which are called French knots. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. Once you actually learn how to do a French knot, it does become quite addictive. Of course, there are lots of other stitches that you can do and you can keep things very simple. Um, I think my love of um, embroidery actually comes from um, studying um, 18th century embroidery where they were so um, adept at using the needle and thread and to embellish the most exquisite garments. Um, here in Hereford, we are very, very fortunate to have one of the most amazing collections of 18th century embroideries, um, and particularly on waistcoats. Um, so these were studies that were done with students of mine. And you can see here, there is, it is like a painting effect um, on the fabric, um, studying um, plants and leaves and looking at nature. So then the sort of the idea that embroidery can enhance a garment, so make, do and mend, upcycle, recycle, is something that you can all have a go at. And of course, during um, the Second World War, um, when make, do and mend was so keen, um, uh, people were actually using embroidery to do exactly the same thing, to enhance what they had, um, to make it new. Um, so we've got um, really a very basic um, stitch that can create texture. So we've got um, in here, we've got French knots in one of these little flowers and we've got French knots here and you can see it's slightly raised. Some people who've tried it have given up with it and that's because um, there's probably a very simple rule to follow and once you've mastered that, that is um, brilliant. If you don't have um, embroidery thread, you can actually just use normal sewing thread. But if you double it up, or even in this case, I have got four strands, um, that will work um, just as well. So it gives you a chance to actually have a practice if you haven't got embroidery thread. Um, with the needles, um, embroidery needles actually have larger eyes um, so that um, helps you get the thicker threads through. So we'll make a start. So I'm going to come up from behind and I'm going to put tension on this thread. That's the key to success. So I'm going to wrap this round three times. And I'm going to take it away from me. So this needle needs to go away from you and back down near to where you came out from before. And then you're going to keep tension on that left hand thread there. And then you're just going to still keep the tension on until that goes through. And here we've got a little knot. So again, we're going to come up through from behind pull the thread across and wrap it round three times. Now you could try more, but I think that this is probably just enough to create the right size for what I need here. And draw it through. Sometimes you need to tug it a little bit, but I'm not letting go of that thread. I'm keeping tension on it all the time until we can go through there. So the other thread I'm just going to try now is the six um, strand thread that has got two threads split and we'll just try that. And so this little heart here 
is a block print that I cut and it's really just a, a little heart that goes out to all the NHS workers and all the carers and the key workers out there helping us. So we've got this lovely little cluster now building up. And so once you get the hang of it, it becomes addictive. You can get quite a few done quite quickly. Always keeping a bit of tension there. And there we go. French knots, my favourite. Right, everybody, so I hope you're having a wonderful day and um, can go and enjoy all the things that are here. Um, and obviously in the craft tent, hope there's lots of lovely things for you to do. I hope this has been a little start to your embroidery journey. Um, go away, keep stitching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.